Hi, now here we've got a, an example where we've got to solve a trigonometric equation. Solve for x greater than or equal to 0 but less than 180 degrees. The equation cosine or cos of all of 3x minus 10 degrees equals minus 0.4. Giving your answers to one decimal place and you should show each step in your working. So if this is a question you'd like to try just uh, I'll just give you a few moments to pause the video, come back when ready, and you can check your work solution with mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. Well, first of all, what I want to do is just lay out the equation itself. We've got the cosine or cos of 3x minus 10 degrees, and this equals minus 0 0.4. Next, what I'd want to do is take the inverse cosine to both sides and that's going to leave me with 3x minus 10 degrees equals the inverse cosine of negative 0.4. Now when I get questions like this what I normally do is set up a quadrant diagram something along the kind of lines like this okay and um, if you're unfamiliar with the quadrant diagram, just go on my website, examsolutions.net, and you should find tutorials on it. Just look in the index under quadrant diagram. Okay, so uh, we're looking for the quadrants that cosine is negative, okay? And that is the second and third quadrant. So in the usual way, what we do is we draw a line out in that direction in the second quadrant, marking its inclination to the horizontal axis here, and then mark another line equally inclined to that horizontal axis. Now, we've got to work out what range of angles we need. We're told that x has got to be between 0 and 180 degrees. So if I write that down, first of all, that uh, x has got to lie between 0 degrees and 180 degrees. Then we build this up. We build it up by first of all working out what 3x would be, timesing each of these three values by 3. So if we do that, we're therefore going to have 3 times 0, which is still 0. x times 3 is 3x, and 3 times 180 is 540. And that's being degrees. Then we've got to subtract 10. So if I subtract 10 from each of these three values, I then end up with minus 10. And then here we've got 3x minus 10. And 540 take 10 is 530 degrees. So this gives us our range for the angle 3x minus 10. Between minus 10 degrees and 530 degrees. Now clearly minus 10 degrees that's to turn in a negative sense turning round here. Well to turn round to here is minus 90 so you can see that we're not going to be turning in this direction. But the first angle that is in this range is from here round to here. We'll work this out in a moment, but this is going to be a possible 3x minus 10. We've also got another one. Starting from here, we turn now all the way around till we get to this line here. So another possible 3x minus 10. So, so far I've got two possibilities. Let's work out what these two are first of all. So to do that, just make sure your calculator is in degrees mode, okay? So what we've therefore got is 3x minus 10 degrees equals, well, if you inverse cos minus 0.4, you'll find you get 113.578 and so on, okay? And that has to be this red angle in here. Now we need to get the green one, and there's several ways we can get this. We could work out what this little blue bit in here would be, okay, just by taking 
this angle away from 180 degrees. So if I was to do that, okay, let's just put this in here. If I was to do 180 minus 113.578, I get 66.42 and so on degrees, okay? So I can get the green angle now by just doing 180 degrees, half a turn, plus another 66.42 degrees. So if I do that, then the angle that we get is 246.421, and so on. It wasn't the only way that I could get that angle. By the symmetry of the diagram, instead of doing what I just did, I could turn this way round. I've already got 360 degrees, but if I was to take away this angle in here, which is going to be exactly the same size as the red one there, 360, in other words, take away 113.578, would give me 246.421. So I've got two ways then that I can achieve that angle. Now, remember the range for 3x minus 10 degrees is up to 530 degrees. And I can see that if I go round to here, this red angle, and then do another turn of 360 degrees, in other words, add 360 degrees to this, I still fall within this range. Because the angle that I get by adding 360 to this is 473.578, and so on. If I was to add 360 degrees to the next angle, this green one here, you'd find that I go outside the range of 530 degrees. So I've just got these three solutions. So all I need to do now is add 10 degrees to each one of these, and then go on to divide each one of them by 3. If we add 10 degrees to each one, let's just say that we would have 3x equals, I'm going to show uh, each step okay, of the working. You could, I would imagine, leave this step out, but uh, if we add 10 degrees to each one, we would get 123.578, and so on. Another 10 degrees onto that one gives us 256.421, and so on. And if we add 10 degrees to that one, we've got 483.578, and so on. Now I divide each one of these by 3 to get x, and if I do that, for the first one I get 41.192, and so on. Next one, dividing that by 3, gives me 85.473, and so on. Divide this one by 3, and you get 161.192, and so on. Now we're told to give our answers to one decimal place, so if we do that, x will equal 41.2 degrees for the first one, next one will be 85.5 degrees, and the last one will be 161.2 degrees. And we'll just say here that we're doing all of our answers to one decimal place, 1dp.